Groups throughout Westchester are also trying to help rebuild Haiti, including Habitat for Humanity. Jim Kaloran is the executive director of the Westchester chapter. He joins us today. Mr. Kaloran, thanks so much for being here. There are so many needs in Haiti right now, but you've got to look at that long-term picture of rebuilding. Where exactly is Habitat for Humanity doing? Right. I, I mean, if you look at it, the emergency relief effort is immediately needed. Needless to say, people are going to have to live there for the long run. And what type of building structures will be put in there? that will be long-lasting so people can have good homes. Ha Habitat International has built 2,000 homes there already. And uh, right now, I uh, showed you a letter that uh, the national director had corresponded with me in December. They've built 2,000 homes down there. Uh, the international efforts on our part are to do cleanup, salvage existing materials that can be reused, look at uh, creating good shelters now, uh, transitional shelters, and then look at the long term, what can be done to build uh, good homes that are earthquake proof. If you look at San Francisco, you look at Japan, there are ways that, that uh, had, uh, there's been no code in Haiti. Mm -hmm. and, and habitats of Haiti has been building strong homes, just like a lot of the homes in New Orleans lasted through, through Katrina. Uh, and so now to go down with professionals, um, during this time, uh, there's a number of uh, people and companies that have contacted us Habitat of Western say we will help sponsor uh, building opportunities there. How concerned are you about security? You yourself are now heading down to Haiti, correct? Right. I, you know, I've been blessed to, you know, the Haitian community is a great community, great loving community. Uh, you know, they've gotten uh, bad raps over the years. Uh, I'm going to be going down within a week to 10 days, depending upon how large a, a, a aircraft we have to go down and what relief supplies we can go. One of my board members, Claudio Phillips, is going to go down with me. Some missionaries from the area, one who I talked to last night, who crossed over this border this, uh, this morning and texted me from Haiti this morning. Um, I speak some French and Creole, had worked with the Haitian community in, in New Jersey about 20 years ago. And in New Rochelle, there's a large Haitian community that the last three nights we've prayed together. They came to our Gospel Fest uh, held at Bible Way Church. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it was like going, hearing their prayers was like hearing, uh, going to awake and just a cry to God to help see uh, people's lives saved. We'll be going down assessing how we can create a volunteer village and create a long-term pa partnership from Habitat of Westchester to Habitat of Haiti. The immediate need then, uh, Jim, is to provide housing for the, basically the relief efforts, the people who are there right, now. Right, in other words, create a volunteer village so that we can go down and fall in, as well as help the existing people who are in there, what homes are damaged, and see what we can do to help them. Everybody needs mm. a place to stay, and it's certainly uh, an awful Oof. lot of work ahead. Jim Kalora right. Habitat for Humanity, best of luck on your trip. And we'll be talking to you. Too. We'll be talking to you. Thank right. you, sir. Now, if you'd like to help with the relief efforts in Haiti, click on the numbers and links section of our website at news12.com. You can find information on groups like Habitat for Humanity, the Red Cross, and a whole lot more there. And we want you to stay with News 12 for continuing coverage of the earthquake in Haiti, the relief efforts here at home, and of course the search for survivors. We'll have all the latest developments for you as they